reasons the snake system works so well is because it is a system. If you work it, it works, and your clients will get the benefit of becoming much more effective when they play the game of golf. I urge you to keep going through the principles and the basics that Snag deliver. If you do that, as I say, you'll lay the foundations for your pupils and the game will be a lot more fun. So this video is purely about those basics. I'm going to go over them carefully and clearly so that you can go and practice them yourself and then be able to deliver them to your clients. In every lesson you give, make sure these messages come through so that they lay the foundations and that the clients are clear on what they're doing every time they pick up the snag equipment. So it starts with the golf ball. We all know the game of golf is about getting the ball to the target and getting in the hole. Well, quite simply by having the arrow on the snag ball and by having the arrow on the launching pad, it brings awareness to where we're trying to go with the ball. So always get them to line those arrows up together to the target that they're trying to hit towards. Once that basic is in place, the next thing is how they're going to hold. Well, as we know, the snag equipment is beautifully designed with yellow dots and red dots to indicate where the thumbs go. So for a right-handed player like me, what you're going to do first of all is hold the club, the shaft of the club, where the label is here. Place it vertical. Now, at the same time, it's good practice to bring the feet together so they're pointing at number six on the hoop. In this position here, they're going to slide the target hand down, but making sure the thumb is running parallel to the yellow dots. In that position, they can close the rest of the hand to make sure the hand is in a good place. The right hand opens up and faces them as if they're reading a book. It runs down the fingers, the base of the fingers, until the hands connect. When the hands connect, the, the thumb, the rear thumb, comes over onto the red set of dots. In that place there, the hands are now ready. Now they can create the Y shape. The Y shape is between the shaft and the arms, just simply like a letter Y. The base of it being the shaft, and then the top part, the two arms, forming that shape there. From there, they can bow down towards the ball. As they bow down there, the club will come down up against the ball. The feet are still together, pointing at number six, and of course at the ball. So with the club behind the ball, they can take the target step and then the rear step. And now they are literally ready to go. So really get your clients to keep repeating those basics. We know how important they are. It's easy to slip with them. So providing you stay disciplined with them, your clients and your pupils will stay disciplined and you'll build the foundations for them to have a much more enjoyable game of golf.